hey guys welcome to my channel hope you're all doing well so leo this reading will be for you if you have any leo placements or if you're dealing with the leo please take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest for somebody else all right guys so i'm going to see what comes out for you guys today what's been highlighted so let's see what your angel number message is for today i'm using this book okay you can just pause it or screenshot it if you're interested okay um those that want to know okay we have 372 recharge tune out others energies you can absorb the energy around you more easily than others so you need to take time to recharge the thoughts and feelings of others give out are constantly being picked up by you take time alone today to daydream journal or create a creative pursuit so if you guys could have uh, water in your chart as well okay that's very much for me uh, like water kind of energy okay um so just be mindful of who you're around what um who you're giving your energy to at this time okay especially if you're feeling quite low um maybe just ask yourself why what's creating that and what needs to be done to um come out of that um energy all right so leos what could, what could you tell me about leos please oh so i've got a little announcement to make at the end of the um, towards the end of the video okay so but i won't i'll speak about it afterwards leo 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 knight of wands six of wands Three of Swords, Ace of Cups, very interesting combination. Okay, uh, give me two more, please. Page of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. Why do I feel like behind the scenes, this is what it feels like, behind the scenes, there is a little bit of, I want to say not commotion, but a bit of um, something that's distracting you. But at the same time, I do see you being successful. I do see um, there could be some kind of um, good news that you'll be receiving. But then, uh, I know what it is. Okay. So, so Knight, of, Knight of Wands, Six of Wands, Three of Swords, Ace of Cups, Page of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. So you're trying your best to stay grounded, but there's, there's energies around you. It could be in regards to a love situation because the Ace of Cups has come out there. So I feel like some of you guys, it could be your love life that's distracting you, okay? I feel like, especially if it's a kind of person that's in and out of your life or not fully committing to you or making it clear of what they are wanting from this connection, okay? And you're focused on being successful, you're focused on... Um, actually, that is you as well, Leo, that is you. So you could be heartbroken as well, but I feel like what I don't like about this energy around you leo and it's making sense as well because it said that in your uh the angel numbers what i don't like about the energy around you is that when you get to that stage leo of do you know what? i'm done I, I like what's the point of continuing this this person's not listening understanding me that's when they kind of swoop in and show you a bit of 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 what you've been wanting Oh, I don't like it. Page of Pentacles, you've been patient and this person's been dramatic. So you're really trying to keep your cool with this person. You're trying not to like, you know, mm, like go at them, okay? You're, not try you're trying to like keep your calm, keep your peace. But this person is trying you. Oh, who did I say this for? I said something similar on one of the readings. The death card. Yeah, you're, you're wanting to end this drama, this conflict. You're wanting it, okay? It's like a battle for you. Tell me more, please. The two of pentacles the page of wands the four of wands so you're saying to this person what do you want do you want a committed relationship or do you want to be the do you want to like go out there and be single like what do you want to do but i feel like someone could be saying to you look i want a relationship with you leo but they're not showing you relationship uh behaviors they're not being committal they're not opening up they're not be I don't know how the what they're saying to you and how they but I don't they're not getting somebody look three of swords and a four of four of ones there. Okay. The eight of wands. 
yeah they thank you ace of cups eight of wands this is this person coming back around or what this is what they've been doing so i'm not sure if this is a cycle this is something that you've been um, repeating with this person and like i said when you when you go to give up or when you say you're done that's when they kind of come in and say oh leo come on man you know you know i love you you know you know and it's just like i don't feel like it <laughs> doesn't feel like it tell me more please the hermit yeah so they could ghost you disappear they could really um just not be around you and there's you page of pentacles being patient being understanding kind of like or just keeping your cool yeah the tower and the five of wands all right for some of you guys this has been a very okay for some of you guys this person could have got physical it could have got physical okay There could have been some accident or something like that. I, or, but I am five of ones in a tower. And with what I've been saying, the death card after something, they've done something or something's happened between you, you guys that is really hard to come back from. Very, very difficult to come back from. Um, I just want to say for whoever needs to hear this, if they hit you once, I promise you they will hit you again. People don't just say that for no reason. You don't just, you haven't been hearing that all your life just because people think it's fun to say. It's true. So you may care about this, but this person taking advantage of the love that you have for them. Leo, be careful. Whoever, whatever Leo that is, and it might be five of whoever watches this reading, that's fine. But if you need to hear that, if they have hit you or they've um, threatened to hit you or hurt you, prom I promise you they will do it they will do it and they'll probably get away with it depending on where they hit you okay so please be careful whoever that is all right i feel like this is a situation that's not safe it's not healthy you can't you can't you can't be at peace here you're not at peace you know what it feels like um you're on a roller coaster with this person and sometimes throughout the roller coaster it's fun it's like oh wee and the next minute it's like oh my god why did i get on this when is it gonna stop please i want it i want it to end this is not so this is not I, I don't know if you're whether you're new or you're you're you've been a subscriber for a while leo if this is you this is not the relationship or connection for you i'm telling you that now so a member, I don't know you. I'm reading the energy. If you know this is what this is what's happening, that person will hit you again. They'll do whatever. Or if it's not hitting you, it's vandalizing something of yours, ruining things. Be careful, Leo. I really get messages like that for you. And I was gonna actually gonna do this reading tomorrow. I'm glad that I did. I I, I actually come and done this today. Put your safety first whether you're a single person whether you have family with this child with, with with this whether you have children with this person just be careful okay the four of cups some of you guys don't want to push them away some of you guys you love them a lot some of you guys are scared of end of it ten, um, the death in the four of cups some of you guys are frightened of that but let me tell you something some of you guys I really get readings where I'm where I'm picking up on domestic, uh, yeah, um, issues. Okay, I've got to mind my wording. Okay, guys, because I know YouTube's got new um, uh, terms and stuff like that. You know, so I've got to be careful. But if you're dealing with something domestic between this person, you got to seek the right help all right i very rarely get readings like this when i'm picking up on it very very rarely so for it to come out is clear regardless of where your leo placement is it could be a cross watch and you're coming to this reading you're thinking oh my god that's me i don't f you already know this the chariot death in the chariot end it and move on end it and move on run run oh okay i really hope i'm speaking to the the right person who needs the help here okay 
don't tell this person that you're leaving. They will get angry. Be careful. You need to even ask the right people for, for help. Don't make a scene of it to this person. They will get angry. They will try to stop you. They will try to gaslight you, love bomb you into staying. And you know you're not meant to be here, Leo. I feel like the, this is a group of Leos who are desperate to get out, who's put up with a situation because this person's promised to change or... So I, f I feel this is a more long-term situation than something that's fairly new. If it's fairly new, run for your life. What are you staying for? If I hope you're not staying because of the attraction or because of whatever or you're in a vulnerable state and you feel like this is what you need to um, settle with. Absolutely not. Make sure you're reaching out to help for the right people, please. I feel scared for you and I don't, I really, I swear, I really, if you've been watching me for, for a while now, I really get readings like that. Someone, someone is, 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 uh, they're scared for their life. They're, somebody's in danger here. And even if this person hasn't hit you recently, they're going to do it again. Some of you guys have on eggshells. All right. So you have the three of cups. Ten of cups. Some of you guys, the, some, oh, there's a lot of water energy here, okay? Go towards your loved ones, okay? Even if you've got to stay with your family for a while, or even if you've got to stay with your friends or whoever it is for a while, okay? That's better than what you're in. For the Leos that this is resonating with, okay? Nine of Swords. It's going to stretch. Some of you guys are worried about this person coming after you. This is this is deep, Leo. This is a deep reading, um, and I wasn't expecting this. I'm not a professional or anything like that. I'm just, a, I, I read and I care about the people that I read for. And you have to look up that information. I do see you guys worried about this person coming after you or what they may do. The moon. Some of you guys are se seeped into depression because of this. The lovers. Okay, so something about this person, when you have tried to leave, they have tried to come back and get you and and this has happened time and time again. Or if you've told them that you're leaving, they tried to love bomb you, but they don't change. Leo. Leo, come on, please. Seven of Wands, you tried to block them. Five of Wands, the Tower, and the Seven of Wands, you guys have probably got into some kind of altercation, a fight, an argument, something quite scary. The Tower moments. You could have said, oh, it was an accident. Oh, I walked into the door. Oh, this happened. I'm really picking up on... I, I'm going to have to stop this soon because this is ups, it's upsetting. But if this is your story, please stop staying because you love this person because that's not you putting yourself first. That's actually the ego. So I, And you know what, guys? Let me tell you something as well, yeah? And I'll be real with you. And I've mentioned this in one of my readings before. I did not start tarot to keep people going around in circles. I started tarot to help people and help them get out of situations that they know are not good for them. And they might even remember, I don't know who you are, but someone's going through this. So it's clearly strong in your energy. If you are staying for this person, you love them more than life itself. You need to love yourself more than that because they, they will always put themselves first. If they put you first, they'd let you go because they see that you're unhappy. They don't care. I'm saying that because it's the truth. You do as much research and you'll come back and you listen to this and be like, do you know what? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Ten of Wands, it's become a burden. You need to let this go. Four of Cups of Death, the Ten of Wands, it's been over. Why are you there? Why are you still there? Or have you left this person and it's just, and this is afterwards and you're just stressing out now and you're worried about, all right, give me some advice. Let me pull a different deck. Give me some advice for Leo, please. Well, I've already given you lots of advice there, but you have to love yourself first. The main thing, love yourself first. Put yourself first. If you have children in this person, don't stay with them just because you want uh, that parent in their life. Because, listen, children are not stupid, you know. Children are very clever. They know when something's not right at home. And don't just, there's a facade. 
forget about how things were done 20 30 years ago times are changing and you have to put your happy happiness first your safety and as if you have children with this person their their happiness and their safety some of you guys it could be a situation with your parents if you're of, of an age where you're maybe you're, you're in your late teens or early 20s and you have a very controlling parent or very religious parents and and they're you know and let me say something as well somebody can be a police officer a lawyer a judge a doctor a, pr a priest whatever yeah and we all know regardless of what you are what title you hold there's still evil behind those not everyone there's still evil behind it so people might say oh they may not believe because they're this they're they're they're, they're a priest or, or this person's uh, a doctor or a lawyer they think that this person's amazing because of their a status that they have Or because they're always smiling and treating everybody else nice and once the doors closed once you guys are home whether it's your family or if it's a partner that you have behind closed doors different they could have something they could feel like they have something over you for example they're financially supporting you they are not the end or be all leo i hope this message gets to the right person because i rarely get this and this feels like a warning because you know it's going to get worse. Stop waiting for better days and know and, and take it for what it is, Leo. Two of Cups and a Nine of Swords. This relationship is just stressing you out. This connection is stressing you out. This is not something new. Like I said, if this has happened in the last, if you met somebody in the last month or two or three, what are you doing? Get out, leave them, block them. File a straining, a straining, um, restraining order or something like that. Okay, do whatever it takes. All right, someone needs to protect themselves. Okay, you may be in fear of this person. I have God, I've never done a reading like this, but I just wanted to say and do my best to really make you see that I see you and I feel this and it's showing me over and over again that this is not for you. I don't care how much you love this person. Because if you loved yourself as much as you love them, you wouldn't be there. You wouldn't be there. And some of you guys, it's guilt around the children. You need to get over that. So, so if it's therapy you need, if it's guidance, look for it, it wherever you are in the world, okay? Please. Okay, two of ones. It's time to choose a new path, Leo. Okay, I've got a few more cards and we'll end it, okay? All right. Yes, it will hurt. Yes, it will make you sad. Yes, it's scary, the unknown, okay? See, this, the past is, is, is like... I feel like some of you guys haven't even shared this with people or very few people, okay? This person can have quite an attitude, quite a, um, listen, if anyone's going to fight you or, or anything like that, it's going to be, now, listen, I'm laughing because it's a fire sign as well. And they may feel like because you're a certain way or because maybe you're a Leo, because not all Leos are the typical stereotype, you know, um, you know, um, Oh, look at me. No, not all Leos are like that. They're not, yeah? Maybe you're a quiet Leo. Maybe they, this person's trying to tear you down your character. Maybe they think that you think you're too nice. Like, leave this person out. You see, whoever this is, could be a fire sign or earth sign. We've got lots of the signs there. We've got Scorpio, Cancer, Virgo. We've got another Leo as well. Pisces, yeah? Leave this person out in the cold. Don't tell them. Do not tell them. If that is you, I feel like... I'm going to leave it there, guys. Oh, my God, she's only 20 minutes. I'm going to leave it there. And I really hope that you make the right and safe choice for you. Whether you're a single Leo, whether you're a Leo with family, with, with children. This needs to end, okay? I'm not, I will not do readings to be like, oh, maybe this person just had a bad day and maybe you should wait. I ain't doing that. I ain't coming here for that. I like to be straightforward. I like to be direct. So... 
whether this is like my last reading or my first reading that I'll do, I want it to be clear. I want to get the message out. If it's not your story, that's fine. If it's not your story and you're still here, okay, guys, listen. So, anyways, I'm gonna leave that there. Actually, no. Do you know what? Let me pick. Um, let me pick some oracle cards to close it out, please. What could you? What are the extra messages? I'll pick three, and then I'll tell you another message that I got for you as well. For Leo, please moon cycles overcoming difficulties and and we have outdoors all right let's see what this says leo we have moon cycles archangel haniel notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles okay that's for you to do your own research okay very important if you're trying to if you're new to this whole um healing journey uh spirituality it's so important to to um to to really do your research do your homework yeah and we have overcoming difficulties so that's no that's no look overcoming difficulties i'm not sure if you can read that but anyways look archangel jeremel the worst is now behind you and you are surrounded and you are surmounting any previous challenges some of you guys, like I said, some of you guys have escaped this. But I feel like this is for some that are just thinking, what do I do next? And again, you've got to you research, look into things. Don't just wait for someone to save you. Get yourself out there, okay? Get yourself. We have outdoors, okay? Archangel Jophiel, go outside, get some fresh air and connect with nature to reveal, to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. All right, guys, very different message for you today. I really hope it reaches those who it needs to. I understand it won't resonate with every Leo. It's not supposed to. The messages are supposed to reach those who need it the most right now. And that's definitely someone who needs that message. Um, what I wanted to say to you, what I mentioned at the start of the video, Leo, is that I'm doing um, the first of the month. I'll be ch uh, picking one person to either um, win a mini reading, a 15 minute mini reading, it's two questions or a tarot deck. OK, all you've got to do is comment, subscribe, like the video, turn on the notification bells. All right, guys. And you can don't have to do it for just your uh, sun sign if leo is your sun sign you can do it for any videos okay watch to the end all right guys like all that stuff and i hope you guys get to a safe place whoever that is for i am rooting for you you can do this okay remember you're the lion raw all right bye guys